to another video. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Gina. And so for today's video, I will be showing you guys how I basically just bring my coffee station to life. So if for a minute now, I had been wanting to kind of give this little area a little facelift, kind of give it a new look. And so today, that's what we will be doing. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so. Also, if you do like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And so, well, let's get started. It's just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in. So I went ahead and just cleaned the little furniture piece off. Um, I wanted a very clean surface, that way nothing stuck to it. And so I did start by sanding it down with a 120 sanding block. I didn't want nothing too harsh and that is the one reason why I decided to use a little block and not my sanding machine. Um, I didn't want to go overboard with this. but my thoughts here was that okay you know i was gonna sand it down and then i wanted to stain it so um here in a minute you will see me um staining this um top part of my furniture piece also by the way this furniture piece is from kirkland's so i will have everything linked down below for you guys and um the one stain that i am using is the very thing early american that is one of the stains that I love to use whenever I am basically doing anything, you guys. I love it. Again, it's the very thing, early American. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel the And I didn't do anything um, majorly special on here, you guys. I just sanded it down and then I just got an old rag that I had and basically just started staining away. We did end up taking off just all the hardware and the doors. That way it could just make it that much easier for me to be able to paint and not get the hardware um, uh, colored in white because the hardware was black and so I knew that I wanted to keep that color. Um, but here you see me painting. Now the paint that I did use is by Bear and I did use one that already has the primer and the paint combined together and I just used a flat paint and I did go over it a few times but here I'm doing the first pass and just get it, getting everything nice and coated. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down, feel alive When I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, nothing can break me I did use the roller and basically the whole furniture piece. The only time that I did use the brush was whenever I painted most of the parts from the doors. But other than that, I used the roller and it was very simple. You guys, if you ever have a furniture piece that you do want to paint, just go for it. Um, most of the time, usually um, what I try to do is just sand down the furniture piece no matter what it is. Usually whenever you do that, it just gives you a more of a clean and soft surface. Smooth surface, I should say. Um, that way, um, the paint can just go in there a little bit smoother. But see here, I am painting the little crease in between the top and at the bottom of the furniture piece. And that just gave me um, easier access to that space. But um, like I said, you guys, it was pretty simple. It was not that hard. Pretty scared, I'm not going to lie. It just gets scary whenever you are trying to 
um, paint or give a new furniture piece a facelift. More than anything, you know, this furniture piece was not cheap, so <laughs> um, I tried my best and I mean, I don't regret it one bit. I absolutely love the way that it came out and basically how it just freshened up the space. So yeah, I'd say if you're thinking about it, just go for it. We can spend all day in bed. I'll put the TV in the room. We'll have a Netflix marathon. Kenny G saxophone. We'll order in a bunch of food. I'll put your favorite music on all the way baritone. Shut the lights, go in for a At this point, I had already finished up the furniture piece. I painted it and I went over it, I want to say about three to four times. So here my husband is helping me put up these shelves and these shelves are from Target, you guys. I absolutely love them. I love the color, I love the length of them, I love every single thing about it. Like I said, I, leave, I will leave my like to know it link down below and that is where you will find all the links to everything in my home. Almost everything that I do have in this coffee bar, I will have a link there, so make sure to check it out. We can spend all day in bed. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me from all those also what I did love about these shelves was that it was not even that hard to try and set them onto the wall. It was pretty awful simple. Um, we used all the hardware that was in there because it does come with the hardware you guys. So this little uh, cool tool that is on the wall, the green one, is by Ryobi. My husband got that one not too long ago and we absolutely love it whenever we're trying to put anything on the wall as far as shelves, pictures, or anything. It really comes in handy and I also do have a link in my life to know it. And now here you can actually see how it came out. Oh my goodness, I'm so in love with it still. I, I can't even believe, I don't even know why I did not do this any sooner, but now it's time to decorate. So I do have this olive tree. I did get this olive tree um, through QVC. And again, I do have it also linked. Like I said, you guys, I will have everything linked. And um, now basically I just wanted to set up my Keurig. Now this time around, I wanted to go ahead and try and put it in the middle. Um, now my Keurig, the length of the cord does not go all the way down to where I do have my outlet. So I did have to go and look for a, an extension cord and luckily I did have one in hand. So shoot, that was a close one. But it's like something feels different from back there. And now the way that I decorate it is not the way that it ended up being. So if you are not following me yet over on my Instagram, make sure you do so you guys. I will go ahead and leave my handle here. Usually there on my Instagram, I do share a lot more things with you and a little bit more active. Um, I show you day-to-day -day decor pieces and also decor finds that I do find over at the stores whenever I make my little small trips to it. So make sure you follow me over there. So I need to let y'all know, this Dulce de Leche coffee, I did find it at HEV and oh my goodness, it is so good. I have been obsessing over this coffee for the past month and it is just so delicious, it's so smooth. So if you love like smooth coffee, not too too, you know, like harsh, then I greatly recommend this one. It is very good. Um, like I said, I did find it at HEB. I don't know if they do carry it anywhere else. I honestly, 
um, have not seen it anywhere else and it is branded by ATV so I mean I'm pretty sure that's the only place where you can get your hands on it but again it's a Dulce de Leche one and it is so good you guys it is a must try That does conclude this video. I want to say thank you for all who have tuned in into my channel. Again, if you are not yet subscribed or if you have liked this video, please don't forget to do so before exiting. I would greatly appreciate it and it does help my channel tremendously. Again, thank you so much and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!